So GGG have come out with another post and they are going to be talking in this about the upcoming changes that they're looking to make to 3.19. There are a lot of new problems that have created themselves with the changes that they have made so far. So uh, we're back to the drawing board and we're still working on uh, fixing the, the problems that we have now created through the fixes to the previous problems. And while this is kind of what I said has been happening for a while now, this whole feeling of arch nemesis in general just seems to be self-engineered problems and them going back and fixing it. I am still pretty worried because they haven't touched on or rather have said that they are just listening to what people are saying, but haven't really said that they're going to do anything. It is what it is. So let's jump in and take a look at everything. Now, I do want to try to just quickly go through this because I want to give people an idea of what my thoughts are. Should you, you know, be planning on jumping back into 3.19 because of any of these changes? Potentially, but I would say for the vast majority of you, there is nothing super game changing in here but we're gonna go through everything in this list. So they're planning to limit the number of arch nemesis mods that can spawn on certain rare monsters. For example, those that spawn additional monsters and boss fights and those that can't drop items. This is a very good thing. I do feel that one of the main things we didn't get that they said that they were going to try to give us this patch was a real overview of how arch nemesis modifiers on rare monsters impact different kinds of content. There's a lot of content right now that just feels like it it clashes with arch nemesis in general one of the main ones that i can even think of is uh, the alva alva's temple right i know that even myself earlier on in the league if i went into an alva temple it felt like if i ran into an arch nemesis mod that had just a bunch of defensive modifiers let alone just one of them there could be two or three it just felt like i couldn't actually complete the temple the way that it was meant to be completed because i can't kill those mobs Typically, the rare mobs are the ones that drop the little stones that you use to open the passageways. And if you can't kill those, the mechanic as itself is just kind of bricked. I think a lot of what they're talking about here when they're talking about boss fights and stuff is things like Cortex, where you get just all these rares flooding into an area. And if you get a bunch of really powerful rares with lots of Arch Nemesis modifiers in there, it can be really, really dangerous. And for like that, where they can't drop any items, it's like, well, since these mobs are so dangerous now, you don't actually get anything for that danger. So a little bit of a problem in a self-engineered problem, but it is good that they're addressing it. And the one big self-engineered problem that pretty much myself and everyone else saw coming as soon as like the, the data came out on it is that currently the situation in Path of Exile right now is that this is this is a game where people min-max the fun out of it. That's just the way that these games work, right? Like 30% of the player base are, are are like software developers, okay? These are these are people who look for every single little nook and cranny that they can get their greedy little fingers into, okay? People are gonna figure out what the best way to do stuff is. And right now, unfortunately, the best way to do stuff is to wait till you find these like God-touched mobs and then bring in a magic fine color to kill them for you and give them like a third of the loot because the difference is like one to a thousand right like the just the quantity of loot that you get they say that they're aware of the situation but they don't have an immediate solution the fact that they say they don't have an immediate solution makes me think that they do want to change it however the thing that i worry about is that th this is the this is the the peaks that i was talking about in a previous video where if you take the average over a long time these peaks are what making or what are making the average look okay so if they drastically pull down these peaks the average is no longer going to look good. So I'm a little worried about how they fix it. I hope they don't cause more problems with it, but hopefully they do find an elegant and impactful solution for this. Not super convinced though. They are making some changes to Calandra, meaning they're making it so that you can see which rooms have been completed, as well as making the reflecting mist more common. That's good. Um, this is one of the main, most interesting mechanics out of the Calandra League are like the rings and amulets and stuff. So it'd be really nice to just actually be able to interact with this. Cause think like if you just almost never saw solid recombinators or anything from last league, it would feel like one of the main big like strength mechanics of the league just isn't really there so i'm really happy with this i think this is a good step we really like just just let us see the cool stuff right even if you got to nerf it next league let us see the cool stuff let us play around with it right give us something they are planning to buff tainted currency which is good because right now it's absolutely useless they say that they are aware of the feedback around harvest crafts we don't have any commentary on this yet this makes me think that this is the intention that they just want it to be significantly weaker so rest in peace if you enjoyed uh ssf it's still going to be pretty rough for you boys and they are aware of feedback around minion survivability and making it so that certain monster auras and debuffs such as the rejuvenating and executioner mods don't apply to minions now i am not a minion player i'm not like big into minions in general it's a play style that i tend to shy away from which is weird because back in the day in most other games like this i always really enjoyed minions 
But something about minions and Path of Exile just feels really rough, right? Like it feels like I have to do so much maintenance for the minions. That I just can't really enjoy the playstyle as much as I did in previous games. But it is what it is. They're also doing an audit of all League monster skills and in game map ball skills to check to make sure that their damage against minions is appropriate. They said they're going to lower damage uh, against minions where they find that the damage is too high. This is pretty big. This is one of the things that I know Gazzy was pretty upset about um, that minion survivability just seems to have been completely overlooked, like 100%, and minions are just dying at like the drop of a hat. So this is good if you're a minion player. Uh, a very good thing to see because this might mean that you can actually play your minion builds and not have to worry about you know like keeping your little glass of dolls alive in like white rolled maps so that's definitely a positive positive. and probably the change that i am most excited for is that we're making improvements to how lightning mirages from the storm strider modifier spawn by increasing their cooldown and making them spawn close to the player but not right on top this is one of my like major issues especially if you play any kind of up close build like a melee build heaven forbid that you're playing melee right now in path of exile Lightning Mirages would spawn inside of you, and sometimes they would spawn like three or four. So if you're standing still, you got like three or four Lightning Mirages inside of you that just like uppercut you to death instantly, and you're like, well, what happened? I couldn't even see anything. Now that they're going to spawn a little bit away, and the cooldown is going to be longer, definitely a good change, like pretty much everything about this change. They're making it so the terrain collision of Spark and Lightning Strike is easier to overcome. This is a huge change for the how good Lightning Strike in particular feels. This might actually make me try Lightning Strike this league. Uh, I might try some like weird poison Lightning Strike tricks or something like that. We'll see. But um, definitely a big change, a good feeling for both of those abilities. So that's pretty solid. And one big thing to talk about is that we are also aware of the feedback around Loot and Path of Exile overall and will continue to discuss and monitor the situation. So they said this does not signal the end of all changes to come, merely the areas we have decided on at the time of writing. I would say that the criticisms that GGG have been getting in the last couple of days in particular over, you know, going radio silent and not putting changes out. Do remember that GDG doesn't work on the weekends. Like they, they work Monday through Friday, as far as I'm aware. And their time is a little bit different from the time in the US. They are about a day ahead of us. So keep that in mind when it's like a Thursday or a Friday and you're not really seeing very many changes because they're probably going home for the weekend. Keep on them, keep the feedback up. I do suggest that you, you know, keep giving constructive feedback, keep giving feedback, keep telling people what you're really not happy with because it is working. They are listening, they are reading. And I think the community in general, as much as people have been saying that it's been this like toxic cesspool, I really don't think that the majority of the community from what I have seen have been as toxic as people are saying that it is. The vast majority of stuff seems to be constructive, but it feels like people are digging in and looking for all this negativity and looking for all of these things that aren't there. People disagreeing about the game and like the functions of the game with you and saying that they don't like something is not toxicity. Toxicity is when you start making things personal and you start attacking people for things. You can have criticisms about stuff. You don't need to make it toxic, but I, I don't feel that the vast majority of people are making it toxic. There are of course some outliers, but they are outliers. They're not the main people in the community, in my opinion at least. Some positives, some negatives. I think that there is a lot of good in this patch, but it just does once again feel like we are fixing problems that were created by this patch. And Path of Exile already had so many issues that it really needed to overcome, even from 3.18, that it just, it worries me that we're like building up all of this debt of problems that are in Path of Exile and the, the next patch is gonna suffer now because we're not able to get the stuff done that we need to right now. And it's just gonna kind of be this cascading effect. I hope that at the end of the day, we do get to somewhere that is better than what we had before, but it really does just feel like we're making things more difficult for ourselves by by doing all of these changes here that it, it, just, it just feels like doesn't fit in well with the game. So I'll try to keep you guys updated as always, but um, the, the TLDW of right now of whether or not I think that you should jump back into the game if you're a minion player, uh, maybe you should give it a shot after they fix it. It might make your minion builds feel better. But if you're overall upset with how the loot and everything is in Path of Exile right now, you're upset with the situation with Arch Nemesis mods, and you're upset with that general feeling, it's definitely not anything massive that's going to make you enjoy the game again, unfortunately.